Happy Saturday. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Hey, Love Nation. How are you doing this day? I just want to thank all of you for your love, support, your messages, all the excitement, all of you getting your books for the Toxic Love Detox Challenge. It's going good. It's exciting. It's really, 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 really exciting just to see all of you just be enlightened by the messages and the motivations. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, how you doing? Happy Saturday. Surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> hey, Quinita, how you doing? As you can see, um, I listed the title, uh, what I wanna share with you all today. I felt that it was important to come on, but just to really think about this and learn and grow. Hey, Brandy. Hey, Yoli. Hey, beautiful. Good to see you. Um, but some people are addicted to suffering and negativity. Sounds shocking, right? Well, I'm going to get into it. I, I got to get into it more. Happy Saturday. Hey, Rita. Hey, Maureen. Hey, Sharitha. Dana. I want you guys to share this video and tag someone to this video because it's, it's, it's a good one. But whether you know it or not, some people are really addicted to suffering and negativity. And some people love drama. So you might be like, really? How? Why? How would you be addicted to negativity? How would you be addicted to suffering? See, what happens is, and, and I shared a little bit about this, but there is some deep training that I go into even more um, with my coaching clients and exclusive elite coaching program. But we talk about the subconscious mind. And this is how it works. The subconscious mind is really open to patterns, patterns in your life. And it causes feelings and memories and things and triggers that, um, that influence you. So if in your life you was used to a certain amount of drama, being around a certain amount of drama, negativity. You was used to things happening, outbursts, um, toxic energy, toxic you know behavior, yelling from family members, fights, altercations, you know. And so you get your mind starts to create a pattern. And it's like a pattern of suffering, shock, negativity, all of that, all of that. Hey, Alma, hey beautiful. And so what happened is you create a pattern and they call it the paradigm in your mind. And then it's, it's, it's a pattern. And so after a while, let's say you're going throughout life and you haven't dealt with drama in a while. Your brain starts to look for drama because your brain is it's like patterned and used to experiencing some type of confrontation conflict negativity and so you don't realize that you become addicted to something that's harmful to you which can be toxic relationships drama uh suffering when you're used to being the victim you're used to being the one hurt and it sounds harsh but you really become like what you think and I love to refer to the scripture, um, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. You become what you think. So all of this toxic energy, it get, it becomes a part of you. I remember years ago, this was a long time ago. I don't even remember how long ago, but I'll never forget 
talking to um, one of my relatives and they was talking about their relationship with their boyfriend at the time. She was in this relationship and they would argue and fight and you know, have all this, these issues going on and then they would make up and they'll be good again. And then they go through it all over again. It was a cycle. And I remember her telling me, and she kind of laughed about it, but she was like, I love drama. I don't want to be bored in no boring relationship where everything is all good. And, and, and so it really, it really, was shocking because I was thinking like, wow, like, I don't know why that stayed with me all these years, but it was a long time ago. I mean, many, it probably was like 20 years ago. And I still remember that. I remember hearing those words and, and probably because of the work that I'm doing today, you know, it stuck with me and it was just like, wow, somebody actually loved drama. See, I never knew that one day I would write a book called Addicted to Pain. Addicted to Pain, Renew Your Mind and Heal Your Spirit from a Toxic Relationship in 30 Days. I never knew that, you know, I would be helping people to heal from toxic energy and toxic relationships and uh, toxic stressful environments and things like that. And I never knew that I would live my life in such a peaceful way where I'm very, um, I'm very aware of people's energy and what to stay away from and what to, um, address. If I sense there is some negativity or toxic things going on in any of my relationships. And so, Never knew this. Never knew. That's why I'm like, you know, but but you just think I just think back on that. And now here I am today doing this video called Some People Are Addicted to Suffering. Some people are addicted to negativity. Some people love drama. And this is why we're doing the Toxic Love Detox Challenge and why I'm encouraging you to share this with your friends, to share this with your loved ones, to really invite people and tag people to be a part of this because we're studying ourselves. We're studying our minds. We're studying how to improve our lives. We're studying how to become better. And so really... As, as I go through this book and I go through this book, Addicted to Pain and You Are Enough, you know, as we go through these books together and as you all get your books and I'm going to go ahead and post the information now so you can go ahead and get them if you haven't gotten your books. But I hope you have turned on the notifications of my videos and that you are getting them when I come on because sometimes I'm, I might come on, you might miss me. I don't want you to miss the messages because I think it's very important that everything we do in order to create change, we have to implement repetition. We must create habits. And so we feed our minds, our subconscious minds with uh, new ways of thinking as we continue to learn and grow. The Bible talks about in all you're getting, get understanding. Don't just go around throughout life with no understanding because that leads you down a road of danger. So it's important that you get understanding. You get understanding about your relationships and what's healthy for you and what's not healthy for you. You get understanding about your feelings, your emotions, and your intuition and your insight and paying attention to that, not ignoring it, but knowing how to flow and live a prosperous, healthy, thriving life. So... That's why we're talking about it. That's why we're in this challenge. And I want to um, thank you all for being a part of this challenge and sharing your stories. You can inbox me. I don't always have time to check the inbox messages, but I make time. And sometimes I just can get through them and, and read them and respond. But sometimes I'm, you know, so, you know, share your story, share your message, inbox me. And if you have questions you want me to answer for you, um, in an anonymous way, I would love to do that. But I want to encourage you 
to um, stick with it. Stick with it. You know, someone asked me, they was talking about they had a toxic relationship with their mother. And they like, you know, I love my mother, but every time I'm around her, she's just, she yells, she's upset, she gets jealous when I try to help my father or she, she gets upset, you know, and they were just telling me about how toxic it was and what to do because this is, you know, her mother. And, you know, the only thing I could say to her it was, you know, that's your mother. You love her. You want to be around her. And you, you're you going to continue to love her and, and care for her. I said, but, you know, it's important that you, in all you're getting, get understanding. The more you get understanding, the more you get insight and understand where this person is coming from, the more that you will be able to empower yourself to not take it personally when people lash out and they're toxic and they're negative because you know that it, it's not about you and it's not about what you did, but it's something that's in them that needs to heal. And it's something in them that is, you know, that is causing them to lash out. And so just being understanding and learning and reading and reprogramming your thinking so that you build yourself up in a way to where it does not break you down is very important. So I just want to get on, I just wanted to get on real quick and just tell you guys just to um, continue to work on you, continue to thrive in every area of your life and prosper. And I'm excited about doing this challenge all over again. Some of you remember when I first did the Toxic Love Detox Challenge, it was years ago, years ago. And I, I really wanted to come back and to do it and to do it with... Um, fresh wisdom, insight, knowledge, things that I've grown and learned and and how I've been able to just elevate my life on a level where I'm seeing my dreams manifest before my eyes. Things that I thought were impossible are now becoming my everyday life. Things that I thought were you know, only for other people, you know, and I, you know, at one time and one point in my life felt like I wasn't good enough to even receive certain blessings. And now it's, it's so much peace and I just have this joy and I'm just, you know, calm and in this place of just receiving from God and just you know, it's just a blessing and I want to help more people get to that place. I know that's that's part of my life purpose is to give back what I've been receiving because I'm overflowing. I'm overflowing. So I just want to pour into your life and with wisdom and knowledge and and insight and revelation. So I pray that these messages are really helping you and that you're studying them, you're listening, you're taking notes, you're sharing them, you're sharing them with others and you're continuing to elevate. So I just needed to share that with you. I love you guys. Yes, I'm glad to hear that, LaShawn. Good to see you. Yes, 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 Joy. The Bible is the book ever. Yeah, it's, 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 it's an amazing book. So I just want to say that, and again, don't forget to share this video. Tag someone. That's your way of giving back as you continue to um, grow in yourself. Don't forget to impact others and, and share the wisdoms and knowledge that you are receiving through this. All right, so I just wanted to do that. Don't forget to get your books, and we're going to be studying it more going into it. All right, see you guys on Monday. Bye.